they just, they pose um challenges like there is so much stuff going on that we are literally going to be like shows passing in the night we almost had a wreck that happened <laughs> really is a exercise in leadership not what i intended for this summer i thought oh it'd be so nice we'll all like spend all summer together not this family stay tuned to find out mm -hmm. we'll do something some type of celebration no. Good morning, everybody. Mike, wait, is it still morning? Five, 10 of 11? That counts. Mike has moved down here. <laughs> Mike used to office upstairs at the desk upstairs, but now he's had to move down here because oftentimes there are kids sleeping, well, young adults, sleeping in their bedrooms upstairs still, so he had to move down here. How do you feel about that, Mike? Well, I feel like it's another day in which to excel, Jill. Well, of course it is, Michael. There's nothing we can't get past with these. <laughs> Young adults in our midst. Right. They, just, they pose um, challenges, like in a good way. Like not, some of them are bad, like they're actually challenging, but these challenges are, are just ways of opening our minds into thinking of <laughs> how we can live differently. <laughs> Would you say that's accurate? Yes. Well, you know, it's, it really is a an exercise in leadership, right? Oh, them what we do want tell. Them, encouraging them showing them why it's important that they do what we ask, right? So we just had this little run-in with Kate while well, running. Mm -hmm. A little instructional, instructional um, circumstance. Moment. Kate, right? mm -hmm. So we want her to keep her room clean, not too much to ask. No. And um, we want her to uh, keep the counter clean. So the kitchen counter is really a big deal, so. So Katie's responsibility. Okay, so this is my question. Wait, let me turn the camera around because it's gonna be easier. All right, so this is my question for you, Mike. Yes. Katie, so yesterday Mike texted the kids and was like, okay, Br Katie, I want you to clean the kitchen counters. Brendan, I want you to sweep the floor. And Ryan, I want you to vacuum the, the carpet upstairs. Now, is that a one-off or is there, are those gonna be their responsibilities the whole summer? Uh, no, they'll continue to change as, as the condition of our Changes, right? As needs arise. Yes. So, uh, so, so as a leader, is it a good idea to share with them consistently and consistency? Like every Monday they'll get a new task or are you just going to like whenever they need to do it, you just tell them do this? That's a good point. Yeah. Well, uh, that's my point is that it's a good exercise in leading. In yeah. Right. So. Okay. So I guess we'll work into that. But we we understand as people that we want to have consistency, right? Like, it, and predictability is good. Is a good thing. Predictability, accountability. Right. Um, why it's important. Manageability. Absolutely. Yes. yes. All okay. All good. All positive. Yeah. 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 So it is okay. So it is quite different. Not only having our adult children home after they've lived independently in college for Brennan two years and Katie one year, um, but also having them come back to a home that they never really lived in before. So this is the longest time, longest stretch of time that they will have lived in our house. So things are quite different, right? So Kate's room is different. She just for the first time like put clothes into her dresser to see how it all fit. Um, Brendan lived here last summer, but only really half the summer. And he's um, sort of like fitting into to what that looks like. Uh, Ryan is has been living here now for a year, so he's like, okay, now I've got my brother and sister coming back and invading my space, which he loves. But it's been like it's been an adjustment in a good way, I will say, in a good way. But also, it's it's like a mental exercise because it's like, okay, how are things going to work now? And what, what's our gathering space like? Do we gather up here? Do we gather downstairs? Do we eat dinner and send the kids upstairs? Like. Cause sometimes they want to just go and do the thing. But the other thing that I've noticed is it's been very few and far between when we've had everybody here at the same time. I thought for sure this summer it would be like, all right, Brendan and Katie coming home from college and they do have friends here, but not as many as they had at home that maybe they would focus on work and family time and all that stuff. Um, but that has not come to fruition. Um, Brennan ha is working two jobs. Ryan is Mr. Social Bug. And Brennan also, you know, has friends here. Katie has friends here. But she's also, um, she's been hanging out with me a lot. Like the two of us have been hanging out a lot. But she's also going to be doing a lot of traveling this summer and visiting her friends from college. But this is also um, what we're running into. So she is very proud of her accomplishments. She's like, wow, look, mom, my room is clean. 
Okay, well, it's cleaner than it was when she first came back. I mean, there literally, you couldn't see anything on the floor. She just has way too much stuff. I think that's, that's the thing. So we're still, it's a work in progress. She's been home now for about two weeks and we're still working on, you know, making the bed when we wake up and that kind of stuff. The closet's starting to look good. This is Brennan and Ryan's room in here and it looks a lot better than it was. Uh, believe it or not, there was stuff everywhere. Now, the only thing with Brendan is he needs a dresser because Ryan has that dresser. Anyway, so we could go through all the gory details of what it's like, but it it has been very fun having them home. We had a great dinner last night. We went out to Costco for dinner. That was fun. Tonight, we're having a family dinner, so I have to actually like call family dinner and like set everybody's expectation. Otherwise, Ryan will go out and plan something. You know, Brendan, if he has work, he has work. So we try to find the times um, that we can all get together for dinner and general family camaraderie. But literally last night we had to sit down around the dinner table. Well, not the dinner table because we didn't eat dinner there last night, but we, after dinner, we came home and we sat around the table and everybody pulled out their calendar because we had to go through this summer. People are going everywhere. Katie's going to Colorado, Minnesota, Maryland, New Jersey. We're going on a cruise and Mike and I, and we're going to North Carolina and Brennan is going to a leadership camp in Virginia and he's going to um, a golf outing in Maryland and he's going to North Carolina. Ryan is going to summer camp in Georgia, maybe North Carolina. And then we're going to North, family vacation in North Carolina. So there's so, and he has his last day of school and it's his birthday. Like there is so much stuff going on that we are literally gonna be like shows passing in the night. So not what I intended for this summer. I thought, oh, it'd be so nice all like spend all summer together not this family it's like we are all over the place so stay tuned um i'm gonna go hang out with katie a little bit at the pool she's working out right now we're gonna go hang out at the pool together and discuss the rest of our week because we have an exciting week coming up and i forgot to film the bathroom we have a little bathroom work to do this is what the bathroom looks like right now so i think we're gonna have a little actually it's a little cleanup ryan had his invisalign laid all over there but we're getting there of our days that come from high stuff. Katie wakes up, works out, eats, and goes to the pool. Pretty nice. Look at you. Look at she is okay. So your goal this summer is to get strong enough to for the circus to do um, flying trap flying trapeze. Yes, we almost had a wreck there. Haven't we? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, that's my goal for the summer. But um, I would really like to get a pull up bar in my room. Um, so I can be working on my pull-ups. Yeah, why don't you um, and Dad do that today? Why don't you make think, that your I'm thinking that project? Only, the only way to learn how to do pull-up um, is to do them over and over again. Yes. So. Well, you used to do them all over and over again when you were in gymnastics. Right. You have to relearn them now. Right. It's been a while. Right. Yeah. And the trapeze uh, circumference in it. Uh huh. A yeah. smaller than that of a gymnastics bar. Oh, I see. So it should be quite easy for me. Okay, I understand. No. I understand. So why don't you talk to Dad about making out your project du jour? I'm going to be honest. I don't know what that means. <laughs> a project of the day. Oh. Reminds me of du jour no pizza, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> du jour means of the day in en français. So it means. The pizza means today. <laughs> yes, why don't you make it today's pizza? Okay. Going to make a pull-up bar. Today's pizza is going to get a pull-up bar. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that makes a ton of sense. <laughs> more, more sense than du jour. <laughs> she is total, like, entertainment. I love her. So me and Mom have just gone and undone the umbrellas. And we look up and there's a frog there. Isn't that funny? And then this one. What is up there, Mom? A lizard. A lizard? Look at him. All the amphibians and the umbrellas for today. <laughs> They're going to jump on my head. They really like it, don't they? Well, I'm going to sit over there. Okay. Do some sunbathing. And Mom's going to sit over here. She's going to work a little bit. <laughs> and I'll see you guys probably in the pool. I'm just going to have myself a swim. <laughs> I'm sitting over here doing my work. 
do my editing underneath the shade because I was over there where the um, umbrellas were, but it was way too hot over there. But you see Katie, she's laying out right there. Brennan's on his way. He just finished his work this morning, so he's gonna work out in the gym and then probably hang out in the pool. And then um, I'm gonna head home though because I ran out of power. Look at you guys, there's my computer. <laughs> I ran out of power here. So the power thing is way over there and I could plug in over there, but it's just hot and it's easier to work at home. So I'm gonna sneak out while Katie's sleeping. She hates it when I do that, but um, she's a big girl. She could be here by herself. Plus the bag, Brennan's coming in just a minute. And I wanna be home when Ryan gets home because this was his last day of school i say the last official day of school they didn't have a full day of school today but they had the last his last like day that they had classes so and then he had final exam at the end of the day and then the next three days he has exam 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 so i'm gonna be home for him and see how he did so i'm gonna head home and i hope katie will notice guess who's home there he is hi my guy last actual day of school is that right yeah Oh my gosh. All right, you hungry? You're ravenous. Look at you. How'd it go? Very well. Yeah? Yeah. You took your math exam? I did. And? I was alright. So most of them had to guess on, but it was fine. Okay. And then, I don't have a lot of other exams, so I should be fine. Don't you think that's too much jelly, Ryan? Look how much jelly. Show me your jelly. It's gonna fall off if you do it sideways, that's why. I mean, if that's not approach, but I don't know. I think it's a lot of jelly. Well, you eat what you like and I'll eat what I like. <laughs> Famous quote. You eat what you like, I'll eat what I like. Do you know what, whose quote that is? Yeah, Yukon Cornelius. Yukon Cornelius, you guys. That's right, from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, the slickest peanut butter. You mean pea soup. You eat what you like, I'll eat what I like. Yeah! Classic stuff. Mm-hmm, talking about pea soup, right? Yeah, anyway. Um... So how do you feel about it being your last day of school? Uh, good. Oh, great, actually. I'm ready for summer. Can you believe that you've gone to that high school now, your brand new high school, for a whole year? No, I don't remember much of it. Like, I think back on the year, it doesn't seem like a year. But the way I feel is like, I'm ready to go. But, and, and this is the other thing, too. Like, I say brand new high school. It probably doesn't, it doesn't feel to you like it's a new high school. No, not, not at all. You feel like you're, like, like, legitimately been there for a year, and it's totally your high school. Oh, we're not bringing backpacks anymore. This is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, two exams each. But I don't have an exam in marketing, um, gym. Well, I do have a gym one, but I don't have to be there for it. Oh. It's like a really easy thing. Whoops. And, um, <laughs> Speaking of gym. And then, um, so, and then also, um, A Push is just a project, so I don't have to be in there for that one either. So all I have is a first period and a seventh period exam, which are both tomorrow. So wait, so Thursday, Friday, you're done? Like you have nothing on Thursday and Friday? Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh. So tomorrow might actually be my last day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow, Ryan, that's very exciting. How should we celebrate? I'm just going to go them. What? That's a great question. Mm. I don't know. All right, stay tuned to find out. Mm -hmm. We'll do something, some type of celebration. Yeah. So we do have a little something um, planned for the end of the week, which isn't really specifically for Ryan for finishing school, but it is something that we couldn't have done had he not finished school. So stay tuned for that. And you guys, I wanted to share, I haven't done this in a long time, what made me happy today? What made me happy today was having all my kiddos home and back for the summer, even though we're going every which way. I'm so thrilled to have everybody home. And I love the chaos, thrive on the chaos. And um, looking forward to um, my new job too. So a lot of things made me happy today. I'm constantly thinking about that and I'll be sharing more about that with you guys in the upcoming vlogs. I'd also like you to let me know down below what you'd like to know about my new job. I think I'm going to be doing a Q and A soon as well. In the meantime, check out this video for the last day of school for last year and what that looked like. See you guys.